Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video from the Crypto Gurus. Uh, today we are going to do a review of uh, the Denaro ICO, and uh, as the uh, tagline says, uh, Denaro uh, stands for Crypto Liquidity at your fingertips. Uh, so we will try to understand uh, the product uh, under the following agenda. Uh, we'll start with the product description, a brief description of what are the key features of this product, and what it is all about. Uh, we'll look at the progress made through a roadmap uh, for the ico uh, we're looking going, then going to look at the bonus structure followed by the team structure of the uh, ico and uh, we will then look at uh, what is the current stage uh, in terms of fund raised and then uh, find reasons as to why one should or should not invest in this ico okay so let's get started um, so here is a brief uh, product description of uh, Denaro. So what Denaro is uh, trying to do is uh, it is trying to bring in liquidity, security and storage together. So uh, it is bringing these three factors together for multiple cryptocurrencies. So with Denaro as an option, uh, so it will be a single wallet where you can store your uh, cryptocurrencies, you can spend them and uh, Denaro will take care of their security. So largely it is going to cater to uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So it is going, so these are the features, liquidity, security and storage are the features and how uh, they are being achieved uh, is mentioned on the right side of the slide. So if you were to look at uh, cryptocurrency storage, storage and security, so you receive store and uh, spend BTC, Ethereum and DNO. DNO is nothing but the Denaro coin. Uh, using a single address in a safe, secure, multi-crypto wallet. So you have a multi-crypto wallet. Uh, so this which will ensure a storage and security. So the second uh, feature is general wallet security and benefits. So you get all the general uh, wallet security and benefits which you get in any other wallets with an additional advantage that you also get a card here. So you can also spend uh, all your cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies with the help of uh, your debit, with the help of a physical debit card. So you will have, uh, so Denaro will make sure that uh, there are merchants on board who are going to accept the Denaro coin. And you can also spend in Bitcoin and Ethereum using the Denaro debit card. So this will also protect, protect you against the fluctuation in prices because you will have instant conversion of uh, uh, prices uh, in terms of Bitcoin and Ethereum to uh, to the fiat currencies. So these this is in brief a description on so so another feature is that worldwide payments via debit card. So which is which I've already mentioned that you can uh, do a lot of payments uh, using the narrow debit card across the world. We'll quickly move on to the roadmap. So they have uh, the good news here is that they have already uh, completed the uh, multi cryptocurrency wallet beta launch so the beta launch is done and uh, it has been completed uh, next steps uh, what they are looking at is along with the ICO uh, end of May they are planning to start a marketing campaign for merchants uh, in the month of May uh, they are planning to attend a consensus conference which will be another marketing event for them so Pretty much uh, work on the product is done. Now uh, it is all about marketing for which they are raising their funds through an ICO. So this is the progress roadmap. Looks good because uh, uh, because of the uh, uh, completion of beta testing of the product and the stage that they are in. Now a special attribute for this ICO is that they are providing huge bonus. So for the first 15 million they are providing 25% bonus. From 15 to 35 million, they are providing 15% bonus. And from the last 25 million, they are providing 5% bonus. So the pre-sale bonus is what is 25%. And that is for investor contributing at the stage pre-ICO uh, pre stage. Uh, the public or main bonus uh, consists of 25% bonus for the first 15 million tokens. Right, so the twenty five percent is going to be there for the first million tokens of the ICO stage and the pre ICO stage. Uh, the fifteen percent bonus is for another twenty million, and the five percent bonus is for the last twenty five million uh, tokens. So that is about the bonus, which is a special attribute here. Uh, we look at the team. Uh, so Denaro claims to say that they have a very strong team. Uh, a CEO who is a blockchain enthusiast. Uh, 
a very experienced legal department who is also a blockchain enthusiast and a set of developers and uh, product designers and uh, uh, ui ux designers who are all blockchain enthusiasts so uh, the only negative aspect is that though they are all enthusiasts none of them has achieved uh, any big feat in the field of blockchain they are respective experts in the field of uh, uh, what do you say Uh, in their own field so for example in in terms of finance the financial analyst in their team has uh, good experience in finance industry but uh, not as much as in the blockchain world or in the cryptocurrency world uh, we look at the current status of uh, cryptocurrency they have already sold 28.6 million uh, uh dinero coins and one uh dinero is equivalent to 0.28 dollars so they have roughly uh raised uh close to uh, 8 million usd already so that is the strength of the ico they have already raised and there are only 20 days to go so i am hoping that they'll reach their hard cap because they've come very well so far raised uh, almost 8 million already and uh, their hard cap is not too far now coming to the most important uh, question and most important part of the video as to why when somebody should invest in this ico so uh, we look at the positives first so they have ready and tested product which is rare so most of the icos are all about uh, a white paper and a uh, you know a lot of story around uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning but this ico is different they have a simple concept but it is ready and it is tested uh they have an international currency for fiat currency so it, this is a feature which is unique to them uh not not unique per se but with, this is a feature which is not present with many uh, other uh, cryptocurrency based debit cards so uh so this this iwan currency will allow everyone to uh irrespective of your location uh, irrespective of your geographical uh, location you will be able to avail services from this uh, as they have an international currency which integrates all the fiat currencies so the third feature is that they help you instantly convert fiat to crypto and vice versa so this is also a good feature to have uh, in a debit card so you can carry your uh, fiat and cryptocurrency together so also a lot of problems uh then the transaction fee is low it is uh, very low compared to the other uh, uh, so they are claiming to reduce the transaction fee by 50% but uh, obviously that has not been tested and uh, will only uh, feature uh, once the product is actively adopted by users uh so now looking at their revenue sources so obviously they will have uh, revenue sources coming from Uh, a lot of adoption initial adoption which happens so the moment people uh, start adopting the card or uh, adopting dinero uh, they will start using it spending money from it and uh, dinero will take a commission on it uh, though the commission will be low but uh, with volumes uh, even low commission can translate into good revenues for the company then last and but the not the least the merchant platform uh, which they will have to build up alongside uh will also will be another source of earning because uh once the concept becomes popular uh there can be merchant sign up fees there can be merchant commissions also so these are the positives now the only negatives that i see are that the team is not so accomplished so i would not say that they are not they don't have strong credentials uh but uh, but definitely the not so accomplished they've not uh, created any other startup in the cryptocurrency world or they don't have Uh, any senior folks who have uh, any accomplishment in the blockchain world uh second is not a very unique concept so uh, there are a lot of such uh, concept which have come and they've some of them been them have been successful some of them have failed so it is very easily copyable and in the long run how sustainable it is going to be is going to be a big question mark but uh, also at the same time you cannot ignore the fact that uh the number of subscribers and the number of uh, investors joining the crypto world is increase ec- increasing exponentially and uh, many companies can find a place for themselves uh while they are implementing ideas in the field of creating cryptocurrency multi cryptocurrency wallets and debit cards right especially the debit card concept because uh it is very easy for common man for a 
to get convinced when you use the word debit card and it attracts a lot of eyeballs uh, from the common folks who are not into the crypto world uh, and last uh, they have a very strong competition as i already mentioned from uh, established competition like coinbase shift card crypto pay bitwala zappo etc so uh, this is uh, my take uh, on the denaro ico um, so please do your due diligence before you make an investment decisions and i have given you a detailed understanding of what it is all about and what are the positives and negatives of the ico uh, from my perspective so this is all for now thank you